best And my city was a threat to the rest And my city was a threat to the rest How's it going? It's, it's been a long time Yo, 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 this is C3R Corey Yeah, as you can see uh, My Halloween costume is still on Um but yeah, uh, this is actually going to be my first video since maybe two years, I want to say, something like that. Um, it's actually going to be on Seattle, um, the upcoming YCS in Seattle in two weeks. Um, just my predictions, uh, what to expect. Um, also, just the reintroduction to myself and to um, all of my subscribers and future subscribers. So, if you don't know who I am, I'm C3R Corey. Uh, I used to do videos all the time, lots of trade binders, everything like that. Uh, I haven't been playing as much as I used to. Um, I mean, I play on Dual Network here and there, but other than that, not really. Um, I am going to be going to the YCS in Seattle. Um, still not sure of what to play. I've been out of the game for so long, and I can only speculate on what would be good. Uh, my gut tells me to go with what I know and um, what I've actually done well with. Uh, I've day two, day two multiple times with this deck. I got a feature match with that same deck. My gut tells me to go back and uh, just edit it for the current format and see how it goes. But based on what other people are saying, such as my other teammates, uh, Chris Kendrick, um, he topped the Nationals. Um, my friend uh, Oscar Renderos, he topped the Nationals as well, as well as other YCS uh, tournaments. Um, Basically, their feedback is to play something meta or something that can contend with meta and keep up with it. Um, personally, I believe you should go with what you're comfortable with, uh, something that you know the ins and out of that you have been playing for a long time, as long as it is semi-competitive. Um, now, this doesn't mean that you can't go with a brand new deck and not do well with it. Uh, I know plenty of players who pick up a deck and at the first time are playing it at a major event and do well with it. Um, but for the most part, I think most players can attest to this. Um, you need to go with a deck that you are comfortable with. Um, so back to my predictions. Uh, that was my little rant right there. Uh, back to my predictions of... Uh, what the YCS in Seattle is going to be like. Um, first off, I know the weather is going to be ridiculously cold, but that's another story. Um, I believe that it's going to be filled with that Atlantean Mermail deck. Uh, players that are playing that expect to be sided heavily against um, and most likely mained against as well. Um, Lots of removal, uh, debunks, um, soul drain, macro, uh, just everything against that deck. Um, I also expect there to be um, lots of wind up. Uh, Chaos Dragons had a really big showing at the last YCS. Um, I expect there to be uh, agents, uh, the different agent variants. Um, also there as well. The other decks you could expect are Gear Gear. Uh, that'll be represented well as also the uh, both the Machina and the Karakuri builds. Kind of the more rogue decks to expect, I would say Six Samurai, uh, maybe Prophecies. Uh, they do get a lot of support this upcoming set. I really don't know if there's much hype behind them at the moment, but I do see people playing the deck. Uh, so expect that as well. Uh, expect people to be playing uh, just 
I would say go back and look at the last YCS uh, and all the deck lists because a lot of players do derive their deck list from the decks that topped last. Um, whether or not they change the build completely or just change their own check tech choices, I don't know. Um, I don't know how people feel about straight neck decking a person who topped at the last YCS. Um, but those are probably the main decks to look out for. Um, I might touch on you know side decking against the various decks that you should and how to build general side decks. Uh, side decking, I believe, is probably the most important part of the game. Uh, your game one can be amazing and you just have no side deck and against the rogue deck you have to side generic cards a lot of the time that's my personal belief uh, a lot of people won't agree with me they side for specific decks but I like siding generic cards that are good against multi uh, many types of decks um, I also try to build my main decks to combat the same things but, I don't know, who knows. Um, <coughs> Insectors might be played as well. Um, especially because Thunder King, you know, Thunder King's being played. And lots of back rows being played, everything like that. Um, I don't know, this new set is going to change a lot. Uh, with the, just how the meta is. Um... If you haven't, if you don't believe me, play against the Atlantia deck. Play against, um, you know, everything possible. Try to get comfortable before the event. Have your, have your main deck set. I mean, if you're going back and forth between a couple different tech cards, that's perfectly fine. You can do that. But try not to switch the night before. But um, I mean, I've done it before. I day twoed the last time that I did that, to be completely honest. But it's also worked against me a lot of the time, too. For example, at Nats uh, in 2010, I think it was in 2000, no, it was 2011, it was last year, actually. Um, I switched decks, and I didn't do that well, and yeah, I mean... I just scrubbed out. Um, I mean, it happens to everyone. Um, I don't know. I think this video is going on a little bit too long. Uh, I got what I wanted to get out of the way. Uh, just as I said, guys, reintroducing myself. I'm C3R Corey. Expect more content, um, more uh, just everything. Um, I'm probably going to be covering the YCS as well. I'm going to try to upload as much as possible. Um, I might try to do a live vlog, stuff like that. Uh, if I can, um, but the C3 category. Let's go. Let's go. Later, guys. Let's go. Now it takes another bitch. The bitch is bad bitches. But the